Okay, let's go over the supplies we used to make the faucet and tub. I went as cheap as possible. So I found this tin in my stash that I had gotten from Dollar Tree around Christmas time. And it was going to work perfect. The video that inspired me had a oval shaped tin that you can find in the garden section at the Dollar Tree. And that looked super cute too. I liked her idea. So, um, for the legs, I used these, the pawn pieces in the chest set. And they were already black, so that worked. And I used cheap Walmart spray paint of white for the tin. And I had spray painted the faucet pieces I later found at the Home Depot, as cheap as possible, of course, there too. I painted that black. And then I used E6000 to fasten the, um, the faucet pieces that I found to the tin. And I already had the E6000. It's, I don't know, you can get it semi-cheap at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. It, I guess it depends on how big of a tube you get. But I use that for gluing most of my craft stuff together. So it's the best glue that I am able to use. And I know some people, it's okay to use other glue too, like Gorilla Glue or Super Glue, whatever you can find that um, works for you. So then there's this metal tape that used to be at the Dollar Tree. And when I found it, I grabbed quite a few of them because I didn't, because I know sometimes once they're gone, you don't see them again. So I got metal tape to reinforce the faucet to the tin and it also made it, it decorative. And I put two pieces on it. And then I made faucet handles out of out of a clip that I had already had. And I just kind of uh, cut it apart with um, some wire cutters. And I bent it to make it look like faucet handles. That would totally work. But I wasn't happy with it. I wanted something different. So I went back to the Dollar Tree and I was looking for the ship wheel, steering wheel thing. That you can get at the Dollar Tree and the seashore line. But... They didn't have any more. So I found this piece in the garden section. I'm sure you've seen it if you've been at Dollar Tree. And I took off the middle piece of the big wheel. And it had a little skinny piece on the, like on the underside of it that um, I couldn't get off. But it also worked out to have that there because I needed to have a little bit of a, a riser for it to put on top of the faucet and we were making a knob so we wanted to have something that would lift the knob up just a little bit I mean you could probably get away with not having the riser but you would have had to cut that metal piece off really really flat as possible and um, it only goes so f flat when you're trying to get it off with a wire cutter so I just stuck that little skinny piece into the hole of the bead and it just worked out to just E6000 everything together um, and put it on top of the faucet and I had also spray painted the knob and this will be black so that turned out really good I really liked how it turned out and um, I'll show you some of the footage of finding the plumbing pieces for the faucet and I hope you guys enjoy this and feel inspired to make this too Okay, so I'm at Home Depot anyways, getting a door jam kit because my dog um, scratched the crap out of the, the other one and I'm done with using wood filler. So I'm going to try to repair the door jam, but while I'm here, we're going to look at faucet fittings that might work for the little project I'm doing. So let's get... Maybe if I get one of these, it's a little bit long. Looking for something shorter, maybe like one of these. And look, it's only 75 cents. 
And if I could find a fitting that goes on it to make a faucet, I'll have it made. I'm going to just keep looking. It's, my goal is to find the cheapest pieces so I don't spend too much money. This section I was looking for in the first place. And I believe I got one of these. And possibly one of these. And I'm just going to put them together with these. All this together. And it will make a faucet for me. That's the cheapest option I have here in Home Depot, so that's what I'm going with. Here are again changing up what I originally was going to do. I had stenciled all three sides with a pretty flower and bird design, but because I didn't have a stencil with a sticky back to it, it smudged really bad, and I was going to have to do a lot of correction work on it. And then I was going to put a sticker on the front, but I got lazy. I didn't want to do that, so I covered it with white again. And I decided to Mod Podge pieces of napkin on it instead to decorate it. Here's the napkin I chose, and I got it from Marshalls. I tore off pieces that I wanted, and then I took a paintbrush and wetted it, and I went along the edges and tore more off just to make it look rough on the, on the edges. And, and then I turned it over and I took off the excess ply that was on it, um, that makes it to where um, it won't fall apart when you put it on the surface. We want to just have the single um, surface, um, the single ply of napkin where it's decorated. So that's what I'm wanting to Mod Podge on there. So after the paint dries, that's what I'm going to do. And I will get back with you with, with what it looks like. I know it's going to look lovely. Thank you.